guys, this is uh, Ryan here from CNR Reviews. Chad's on the camera back there. Uh, we're going to be doing a batoning demo here on the Buck Hoodlum 5160 carbon steel blade. Quarter of an inch thick, 10 inch long blade, guys. It's a good trail knife. We're going to see how it does with batoning green wood. Um, we're going to try some other pieces that have been kind of difficult for us. We've been practicing out here, as you guys can, can see. And... Uh, it's done pretty well so far. Some of the marks on the blade are just from, from us trying. Um, after we clean it up, we're going to probably do a little bit of an update. Maybe we can add it on at the end of the video here. Um, after I clean this all up and see what the finish actually looks like on this thing. So Okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to do this little piece here. So Now when you baton, guys, you want to press down with this side as well. Okay, I'm kind of learning as I go. So in the first couple times I've you know kind of hit it on this side a couple times, made sure I pressed real hard here, and then I start beating on this side here. So Alright. So there you go. Now supposedly online there's been a couple people saying that this knife um, doesn't handle greenwood very good. And uh, that has not been the issue. We've been messing around and now guys, you if you look at that, over there. yeah, also, I went through a knot on that one. Oh, wow. Just there. It, so, it, it totally blew right through that knot. Yeah, it really did. It's uh, it's an incredible knife for this, for, for, for greenwood, you know, that I've been seeing. Now, we so. have experienced an issue with some of the seasoned wood. Um, yeah. Now, this piece may just be kind of shitty. Yeah, this piece, let's see if we can get on this side, has got... Knot after knot. Knot, knot. I mean, there's tons of knots through this. We're going to see how well this knife can actually just go straight through the center. And uh, we'll see, see. It's pretty thick still. Let me see here. All right, let's see this, Ryan. All right. Press it down nice and... <laughs> it took, handle it no problem. Yeah, seriously, guys. The first time I tried that, I wasn't pressing really hard on the handle here, and it just kept slipping off. Plus, I wasn't centering it very well. So one of the things you gotta you gotta do is center that, center that wood in the blade, and uh, make sure you're using that full blade. Okay, don't just use the tip here. <coughs> so that was a seasoned piece of wood, as you guys can see. There's a difference little bit this one's really dry it's seasoned it's been sitting out for a while this one is green so it's brand new it was just cut a few days ago sure so. now when you're out in the woods you're gonna cut <coughs> I mean you're gonna come across fallen logs and that type of stuff so yes this knife can handle some of that you're just gonna need to put some oomph behind it to actually get it to go through those knots and stuff it can definitely handle the green one we've gone to show that now we're gonna show you just a really quick chopping demonstration yeah I'm um, gonna try it on a, a bigger do you want to chop a piece of these trees Oh, oh, yeah. Really give a oh yeah, I can do the okay. tree here. I've got a little crappy tree that I'm going to be getting knocking down anyway. Uh, it just grows in weird spots. And um, this may be perfect for like kindling. Let's go ahead and show how easy this thing is just to bust. Just gonna, well, <laughs> see, that. okay, uh, look at that. Mind powers. Um, all right, well, Let's I'm going to just clear this yeah. out real quick. That's nice. I'm going to get those ones in there. There you go. There. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good idea, guys. So never mind. I guess we won't be doing that tree. No, not not this tree. Maybe we can try this tree over here. Yeah, it's my lilac bush. Don't don't kill it. All right, there we go. All right, let me see if I can uh, get in here on this guy here. Let's see if I can. Well, you got branches in the way still. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, they just chop right through that. <laughs> like now it's a pretty soft wood, guys. But as you can see, I mean, it's about I don't know an inch or so around. And it had um, no issues chopping so right through that. Thickness of my thumb, no problem chopping through that. Just a couple little hits, no problem. Now if we move back over here, I'll show you guys a little bit of what I was doing before here. Just kind of taking it easy with the with the already cut piece. 
and just trying to chop through that. And it, I mean, this is a green piece of wood. It's a lot thicker. And that was just a few seconds of me going at it. Just like that. Just nice and just like that. Really simple. Chopped into it really well. As you guys can see, that's, you know, it's about an inch or so, an inch and a half um, into that. So, I mean, it's, you can definitely chop down some stuff with this. Don't worry about the light weight of it, guys. It goes in pretty far. Um, it's seeming like it's going to be a pretty good trail knife here. So, and we will be doing some more extensive testing, guys. We are going to be going out hunting this year and yeah, um, doing some camping, and we'll definitely uh, show you guys how well this knife actually holds up. But yeah, so there you guys go, guys. Um, this is uh, the Buck Hoodlum again trail knife. Check it out. It's a, uh, it's a good alternative to the Cold Steel Trailmaster um, and the RTAK, I think. All right, guys. We cleaned up the knife a little bit here with some oil. Um, so the finish was marred a little bit. Not a whole bunch. The finish actually stood up better than what I thought. Um, if you guys can see that. The top where the you top, were beating. There yeah. was nothing. Held, held up perfect. Yeah, it held up really well. The other side held up just about as bad. So, um, I mean, it's not it's not horrible. I mean, you got to figure you're going to get a little bit of use out of these. Mm -hmm. And that's only so, the finish. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just the finish. It's not the blade itself. Now let's check the sharpness of it. Still, that the 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 edge. Got a real thin piece of paper here. All right. Cut right through it. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's still sharp. We chopped like, I don't know, probably 10 different logs, different pieces of wood here. Green, uh, seasoned, wet seasoned, um, and it still has that type of edge. So that's just the edge retention on that 5160, guys. So we're going to do some other chopping demos in the future on like a frozen antler. We're going to see how that, that holds up here. Um, so uh, look forward to those videos, but uh, as of right now, guys, I'm really impressed with this thing. I think it's going to be a really, really nice trail knife. So um, if you guys like this video, please subscribe. Um, and uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know, and we'll try to answer them as soon as we can. So uh, this is Ryan, Ch Ryan and Chad from uh, CNR Reviews. Thanks for watching, guys.